So the third step is actually when the polypeptide or the protein is synthesized. So we can write it as polypeptide synthesis or protein synthesis. The two subunits have assembled ribosome is a complete structure now. On the smaller subunit, the mRNA is attached. Let us write down the codes here. This is A site, P site and E site. First code that is AUG always comes at site P or we can say this is the only first code which can come here. All other codes will be read from site A. That means all, all codes for amino acid are red at site A except AUG because this is the start codon except AUG. That means if this is our mRNA, here is going to be AUG. First code will always come at site P. And all other codes will be at A. Say the next one which comes at A is U, U, U. And after that we can write C, A, U and so on. First code is read by tRNA. And that tRNA is going to bring methionine. So what is attached here is F-met. This F-met containing tRNA can come and bind at the site P because the anticodon arm actually reads the code at site P. So now this tRNA, it comes here. This is the tRNA having the first, that is F-met, methionine. This site, which is going to be the site where all codes for other amino acids are read. So the other tRNAs are going to come here and this site is still open. So another tRNA is going to bind to say amino acid 1 and this tRNA comes to the site A. So at site A we would have another tRNA having amino acid 1. One. So this is our position number one where it actually starts. So at the beginning, two tRNAs having their respective amino acids have a come and attached on this assembly. The first tRNA which has read the code AUG for FMET can come and bind at site P. All other tRNAs they read the code at site A and can come and bind here. First one comes binds at P, A is free, so the second one comes here. Now, this ribosome moves on mRNA. Now, we need to understand what exactly we are talking about. Suppose this pen represents the mRNA and this is ribosome. If this mRNA slides here without ribosome moving, that is a different situation. Or the second one is, this is mRNA, the ribosome is here, it moves to position 2, then 3 and so on. This is known as translocation. So now what happens is, translocation, that means the ribosome moves on mRNA, further. So it gets extended or moves towards the other end or it starts moving on mRNA. So after it has moved, how does it look? Let us draw that diagram where we would see a shift in the position of the ribosome on mRNA. So now in the next stage, we see the position of the, this, these codes rather would change. The mRNA is here. AUG in the first case was at site P. This is E, this is P, this is A. So AUG 
now comes to site A because this ribosome has shifted. The code which was at A will now be at site B and site A will have a new code. In this case we wrote CAU. So what comes at site A is a new code. At U, sorry, at E site, now it is AUG. And we said E is the site which is known as exit site. From here, the tRNAs are going to leave. But before that, what happens exactly at the P site? We said at P site, peptide bond formation takes place. So when this ribosome is sliding on mRNA, between these two amino acids, a peptide bond is formed. So let us draw these RNAs here. This is our amino acid 1 after methionine or to avoid confusion let us say this is amino acid 2. And at AUG this is a peptide bond and what is attached here is F met. And as this is the exit side from here the tRNA has already left or exited and that has detached this amino acid. This first amino acid that is F-met is now attached to amino acid 2 and we know that A site is again free, tRNA can read it. So another tRNA having or with another amino acid here is going to be amino acid 3 will come at this position. After this, it is going to move further. And what will happen after that? This tRNA will come at E site and will escape from here. This code that is CAU will come here and a new code is going to come at position A. This is going to continue till there is a stop codon. Say after this, there is... UAG, the stop codon. When UAG comes at site A, so what is going to happen then? This is smaller subunit, the larger subunit. This is our mRNA, site A, P and E. And at A is UAG. The other one was here C A U, then it was U U U, and here is A U G. This is how it has shifted. The RNAs have left from here. The RNA which was here, the tRNA, is still attached with amino acid 3. What is attached to this is our amino acid 2. And what is attached to this is our F met. Now, what is at site A is a stop codon and we know that nothing is coded by this and that is why we call it a nonsense codon. When we say there is nothing coded, that means there is no tRNA to read it, there is no anti-codon arm and no amino acid is going to come here. After this, when this ribosome slides further, this chain of amino acids which had F met, amino acid 2, amino acid 3 and so on. This is our polypeptide chain which is synthesized and it will be terminated as soon as there is a stop codon which comes here. So this is how the polypeptide is synthesized. First amino acids were activated then they were transferred to TRA. In pr protein synthesis process, first the two ribosomal unit assembled, mRNA attached and then tRNA start to break the amino acids. First amino acid that is F-met can come at site P, all other amino acids come at site A. That means the tRNAs come here. This process is going to continue till at site A comes the stop codon or nonsense codon. As soon as this polypeptide is released, everything is going to dissociate. That means the two subunits will separate, the mRNA will be destroyed and this polypeptide will be taken to the place where it is to be used. 
So this is how the translation of protein synthesis process takes place.